I'm going to try to recount the night as clearly as possible because honestly, I'm still so shaken up by the event, I don't know what to think of it. It just doesn't make any sense. My sister's name's Melissa. She's 25 years old. She has cerebral palsy. She is partially blind, always been mute, half paralyzed, and bound to a wheelchair. For those of you who don't know what that is, any basic need that you can think of, she has it done for her. Melissa talked once when she was two. It was the muffled cry, Mama, through the baby monitor. Or at least, that's what my mom told me. She's eight years older than me. Don't get me wrong, I love my sister, but an eerie aura always seemed to follow her. Whatever house we moved her to, her room was the coldest. We could hear her laughing like someone was talking to her, about the only response she can give us. And the worst one to admit is I was scared of her. I've had terrible nightmares that I would go to her room in the middle of the night and someone was whispering to her, leaning over her bed while she giggled. In another one, I'd go check on her. She'd be floating in the air, pitch black eyes just staring at me like she could see me clear as day. As if she wasn't mostly blind. Those always scared me. And I grew into the habit of sticking my hand in the door and flicking on the light before I'd even peek into her room. Eventually, as I grew older, the nightmare stopped, and so did the small habit of flicking on the light first. Two days ago, I even took her out for a picnic. Everything was normal. I carried out to her huge living room couch when we got home, and kicked back on the other side of the couch, then turned on some TV. We fell asleep together on the couch that night, and I don't think I've ever bonded with her like that. I woke up yesterday morning and my mom, her usual caretaker, had already gotten her up. I made myself breakfast and headed off into my internship. It had been a long day working for a grassroots organization, and by the time I got home, I was beat. Here's where I can only recount as I would call my scariest moment of my 18 years of existence. As I come in around 9 o'clock, my mom is getting ready to go out with her new fiancé. About once a month, they like to go out and have a few drinks, and I usually stay home alone. Well, besides Melissa. I put on a movie last night and popped some popcorn in the microwave. My mom had been gone for about half an hour, and I was already getting pretty sleepy despite the time. I could hear the faint ticking of the clock in the background and the movie playing. I stood in the kitchen waiting for my food. The light seemed to glow dimmer for just a second, but I blinked a few times and it seemed to go back to normal. My eyes must be playing tricks on me, I thought. I pulled the steaming bag out of the microwave and began to walk back from the kitchen to the living room. That's when I heard it. It sounded like a faint whisper was coming from Melissa's room. My heart grew in pace and I grabbed the TV remote to turn it down, as that's what I thought the source of the whispering was. It couldn't be anything else. As I turned down the volume, I could hear the whispering still, just a little more loud and clear. The green drapes my mom used to add a pop in her living room seemed to be drained of their color. Everything did. I was frozen in terror, but I kept telling myself I need to check on her because A. Someone is in the house or B. I don't want to think about it. It honestly seems worse than A at this moment. I crept down the hall to her cracked door. It was about halfway open. I stood there listening for a minute, what seemed like a century, just as I began to call myself silly and walk away. It started again. I couldn't make out the words, but someone was definitely talking more loudly than a whisper at this point. I could basically feel myself vibrating, I was shaking so bad. I felt along the wall for the switch as I entered the room. When I flicked on the light, Melissa was sitting up in her bed, facing away from me like some... someone had set her that way. This freaked me out because it just looked creepy. The whispering started again, and tears began to streak my cheeks as I realized it truly was coming from her. I began to walk over to her. As I began to slowly lay her down, I hyper-focused in on what she was saying. I couldn't really make out anything. It just seemed to be jumbled together. Her eyes were closed the whole time, and I was trying to conceal my cry as I sat there running my fingers through her hair, 
just asking myself how this is happening. Then she said it. Behind you. And the whispering stopped. I immediately spun around and to my pleasant surprise, nothing was there. I was panting at this point and basically took one last look to make sure she was okay before making a break for my phone. When my mom arrived home, I couldn't even tell her what had happened at first. When I finally could spit it out, she just looked at me with a combination of disturbed and concern. Her fiancé slept on the couch last night, and I slept with her. She told me not to worry about it. It was probably another one of my nightmares. Or something else. I don't know how this could be possible. What did she mean behind me? How could someone who hasn't spoken for 25 years or have learned a language at all just gain speech? Any answers would be very much appreciated. Anything.